Bonjour to le monde. I guess I rubbing RX and welcome back to welcome back. No, welcome to Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. The secret is in the stars. Oh, 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 oh! I don't know where you can play with VR goggles. Just been added. All courses can now be, can be played with two people. This is awkward. Nintendo eShop. Purchase a new episode? I don't know what that means. Well, that was awkward. Let's just go back into this. Yes, it is being a bit. Um... Hey, I have a toad mushroom way, way next to me. Okay, but, uh. Let's get started on this, shall we? I have not played this game in a very long time. Probably since it first came out. Honestly, I don't even know why I got it for the Switch. I, uh... I, um... I had it on the Wii U, and it's one of those games where it's like, do I really need it on the Switch? I don't know why I actually got this one, because it's not like it's a big game or anything. So this is Captain Toad. He debuted in Super Mario 3D Land as little stages and then became uh, his own game on the Wii U in 2014. Got ported to the Switch. But here we are. We can, um, so you can walk around, you can run by holding the run button, and then you have these turnips, or these little turnip things you can hit with A. Uh, there's three gems in every stage. I remember that for some reason. Now this game was made with the Wii U in mind, so having the gamepad all the time, but uh, I don't know if I can do anything with this turn up right now. So there's, I have this pointer thing, I don't know how to reset it because it's kind of off right now. But by pressing ZR, I can interact with things. Oh, that goes to the star. Oh, there's something up here. A mushroom. Wait, we're gonna get the second one. Alright, so up here's a shy guy. And this here is a pickaxe. Now, as fun as it is up there, I need to go down here and break this to grab this golden mushroom. And then that is actually everything in the stage. I think I did everything. So we'll just head up to the star. And collect it. So yes, each stage has three gems and a special uh, mission, and I will be doing all of them. I don't know what they all are, but I will be doing all of them. You can now play hide and seek with Pixel Toad. What? what? I don't know what this is. Uh, does that tell me where he is in this first stage? I got Pixel Toad. What does that do? Oh. I don't know if I'm gonna do those. I might do those. While I temple, tum 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 while I tumble temple. So this game is on Wii U, Switch, and 3DS. Um, 
the, if I'm not mistaken, the Wii U and the three, or the Switch and the 3DS versions are very similar. Um, and then the Wii U version has some different stuff, and the Switch one also has some exclusive stuff, like all the VR stuff. Turn it. Oh, okay, so that's how I get that. Um, but there are like four stages exclusive to the Switch 3DS version, then four stages exclusive to the Wii U version, and then more stuff exclusive to the Switch version that I'm not sure if I'm going to actually be able to show because it's VR related, which I do have a VR Labo, but I obviously can't record it as far as I'm aware. I might like do some of it and then talk about it in a video. I've never done it before. Uh, I believe this stage's secret mission is to not get hit. What is this? Just coins? Okay. I'm missing a gem somewhere. I'm not sure where it is. Oh my god. Oh, plus does it. Okay. So that's the third one. Hmm. to do that. Alright, I will meet you back at the top. Uh, real quick, while I'm up here, one thing you can do with this pointer is touch things just to hold them in place. Again, it is a Wii U gamepad just with a pointer. Don't do oh uh, okay. Well, I'll be right back after I here's a quick tip. Blah blah blah. Touch things, I just said that. So let me do this real quick. stage again you get a clear star which toad still somehow almost drops not gonna question it all right oh I got this one I can only touch three blocks but I don't think I can get the gems and only touch three blocks all right especially since I don't even remember what so that does that so what's over here Okay, a key. So there's a door somewhere. Oh, shit. What's in here? I can't fit in here with the key, so it's not that. What does this do? Oh, it goes up. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's the... ...thing. So if we come down here into the door... Oh, that's the third one. So where's the first one? Oh, it's probably somewhere with this thing here. Ah, and then we go up. There we go. Alrighty. So I need to do this, this. Wait. Oh, no. Over this way. And grab the star. 
Cleared course in three touches. Alright, so I need to start by doing this, then touch the blue, touch the blue again, and done! Yes, I'm going to sing that pretty much every time. Don't mind me. Mushroom Mesa. Uh, is this the one where I have to kill all the shy guys? Maybe I should look these up before I play the stages. I don't know what these birds are called. I'll have to look that up. But I feel like I have to kill every enemy in this one. Uh, I think I want to... No? Okay. Um, so I don't know how much... I mean, not everyone's played it, but Super Mario Bros. or Super Mario World was, uh, heavily inspired by, um, Super Mario Bros. 2, which, this is that's what Captain Toad's from. And this game then... How do I get up there? Oh, okay. And so this game also has that same kind of inspiration with, like, the turnips and stuff, which, funnily enough, I've never beaten Super Mario Bros. 2. Um, I actually find the game too difficult, personally. Oh, where's the other... There he is. It should be... And then I go down here, and there he is. Alright. Oh, I didn't go into that room. Mm, I'm gonna go check that room. Um, I've never beaten Super Mario Bros. 2. I've always found it too difficult. I've been wanting to try it again on, like, maybe, like, a stream or something, which is something I can do. So, yes, there are mushrooms scattered around for you, but if you already have, uh, the super... If you're already Super Captain Toad, you haven't gotten hit, you just get 10 coins from it, which is something from, a 3D world. So, up, down, over, over, up. Alright, let's see how bad I did. Defeat all the enemies. Look at me remembering. That's not going to happen too much. Alright, so we finished this little chapter here, so let's do some little toad things. I don't I don't know how hard these are, but we'll take a look. Found him. With these smaller stages, I don't think it'll be too bad because you can like just look around. But there are a lot bigger stages. Um, oh, this one might be a little difficult. Let's see here. Oh shit! I pressed the wrong button. I swear this used to be a feature you need to unlock with the amiibo. I wonder. If he's going to be in the door. Oh, there he is. I like that little squeal. Oh shit, I keep pressing the wrong button. Hmm. Oh, I hear him. Ah, clever. Alrighty. Well, that is all for this episode of Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. 
in the next one, we will be starting the Chafe to Pyropuff Peak because we're rescuing Toadette. I don't know if I mentioned that, but yeah. So, I will see you all next time. Au revoir.